I'm gonna give these rats a run for their money. There's our rat inside. Ooh, big one. Rats in walls. We're about to solve it right now. You're Evelyn, right? I'm the one I th yeah. I yeah, spoke yeah. to you yesterday. I looked at that thing in the garage. I think it's a rabbit. A what? Okay. Oh. I'll show you it. You want to see it? I would love to see it. Do we come through the house or go outside? I'll come through the house. Okay. You guys look so much. Are you related? Twins. We're twins. Okay, good. Yeah. I was like, am I freaking out here? You guys look really similar. You're joking. Right? I just threw one of the traps in here and I looked but in I here today. It looks like a rabbit or I don't know. Here, get away from it. What the hell is oh, that? Oh yeah, that's a rabbit. How did it get in there? Oh, yeah. huh. The dumbass rats. The rats won't get killed, <laughs> but the rabbit is. She didn't deserve that. Basically, we heard this all night long, right here. Like something chewing away at the pipe, which eventually, it must have had a weekend in the pipe or something, but. Yeah, they chewed oh, a yeah. big one, look at that. I hear, like right here, the same nine away. Has anybody gone under the crawl space? No. Okay. Well then that's where we start. All right, so Raul is here. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Get up on that roof. Dave's doing the sniff check. The hint. It's a hint of rodent urine with a little bit of rodent dropping. Just what smell let me, it, Jimmy. Let me see. Poo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Poo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the tea. new one. Poo-hoo-hoo-hoo. You are disgusting. Sad, huh? Make some rabbit tacos. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had rabbit tacos? Yeah, it sounds good. Sounds tasty. You can see that uh, they placed snap traps. We get a lot of people complaining, going, guys, I have traps everywhere, but the traps aren't catching any rats. Well, that's because the rats have plenty of food source somewhere else. But the minute you block their entry points and seal off and they're stuck in that house and you've depleted all food sources, that's when rat trapping begins to be super effective. Write that down. All right, let's head to the crawl space because Dave's under there right now. Hey, Dave. Yeah. How we looking? Good, I'm just trying to figure out why this Dirt is so wet here underneath this laundry line. There's a hose bib right here that may be leaking. Oh, got it. Oh, okay. yeah, it does. It looks cracked. I'll just have to fix that too. So as you can see right here, guys, I just wanted to show you while we're getting set up. Pest control company used some cardboard and just really filled this up with bait, peanut butter. The problem is it's way too much bait. If you lose a rat, there's plenty of food for them to survive in your house a lot longer. So you don't need this much bait. Pump up the jam. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Pump up the jam. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Now it's time to pump some smoke. All right, so Dave's crawling this morning, guys. We've got walkie-talkies today in this episode. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, I'm right underneath the toilet stack. So this is the pipe right there. It goes straight up behind the toilet through the roof. The Norway rat. Loves these big three inch pipes. Just waiting for smoke to come out and we got it. We're getting smoke already. There it is. There it is right there. All right, well that was an easy find. We gotta go upstairs now, open up, figure out how they're getting in. It's either gonna be the rats chewing through that pipe or a plumber forgot to make a connection. So let's uh, let Karen know of our findings. Take the next step. You can see the smoke there. That is the, the vent where we are injecting the smoke, right above the crawl space where Dave was. You could see that haze way over there. We're also getting smoke in the bathroom. Raul's yelling at me, so I'm gonna head over there now. We have some smoke here. Let me shut that light off, Raul. Oh, there we go. See how getting smoke here. All right, so we've got everything covered here and we're ready to open up this wall right here and figure out what's going on.
All right, so now that we have it opened up, we're gonna go ahead and insert that smoke because there's nothing that's obvious when we open up that wall. And before we continue to open up, we wanna run the smoke, figure out where that is, and then at that point, we'll continue on the uh, incision. Okay, so we just verified that the smoke is coming from above down. So that means we've gotta open up more here. So Karen has been hearing a lot of activity behind that toilet as you heard earlier, and this is why. This is what the issue is right here, guys, and we're chewing. We're chewing through there? Chewing right through there, the backside. So they're probably sitting in here and chewing through here. We gotta get this rat nest. All right, they almost got in. You can see right here. Right there, they almost got in. Look at the teeth marks inside the pipe there. That's how sharp those teeth are. Okay, well, we're gonna put all this back together. Definitely gonna need to install a rodent blocker or backflow device that's gonna be modified so these aggressive rats don't get back into the system. Yeah, this pipe, you guys, I wish you can smell it. It is horrific. We get this question all the time. Why would they just come in and chew? First of all, the pheromones that are left inside that drain pipe, as the rats are coming down that city sewer, they're smelling that. They're attracted to that. They're saying, this is a safe place. So therefore they come in, they land on an air vent, and then they begin to chew their way through. Keep that in mind that when you have sewer rats, there's a certain way to repel them and block them with the sewer blocker. And that's what we have to do at this house. Oh, I'll remember that. There's a rat inside Let's try the pipe. Let's try a rat inside. Let's try to suck them out. Let's try to suck them out. There's a rat inside it. You'll see his head. He's definitely in there. You'll see his head pop out. Hear him chewing. Don't turn it on yet. So here's what we're doing. This was the pipe. This is where we saw the rat. So we know that there's, this is the active runway right here. So we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do to catch this bad baby tonight. Hopefully there's several. We're gonna set up our twins rat vac. And here's how it gets set up. So we use a closet flange, secure what? that to the wall. So we baited it here. Put some bait there. Catch. Nice. Okay, here we go. Most of you guys are wondering, well, why don't you just fix the pipe? Well, it's late in the day. We found a live rat inside that pipe, so we want to utilize our twins' rat back in the meantime to extract any remaining rats in that horizontal line. Plus, it's fun. Come on, it'll be fun. All right, so we're going to come back here tomorrow and do all of the repairs, all the exclusion work, and hopefully, we're going to have a rat in our rat back day two all right good morning guys it's been a few days now so we get a call from karen last night an actual text message saying guys we got them it was approximately 8 34 p.m last night when we received that text and it was swimming around in that water and that liquid enzyme that we put in there so we're about to show up right now and uh check it out hi hi how are you we got him huh we got one. We're like, that thing is swimming in there. Is <laughs> When that happened about 8.30? Yeah, whenever okay. I talk to you right away. Okay. I actually want to see what it looks like. Yeah, he drowned. Okay. I didn't hear someone gnawing on the pipe last night. Right, it's quiet, huh? Ooh, big one. I thought it was going to be like, Two feet or six feet. Oh, no, no, no. Ew. Ew. 
That's how you get sewer rats out of your sewer pipes. Day three. Okay, so we've got our back below the device that we're gonna be putting underneath the house. Let's make sure that Raul modified it so the rats don't get in. You haven't, do, you haven't done that yet, Raul. You had one job. Okay, this right here, guys, the rats can still chew through this. So we're gonna modify this bad baby. The inside done. Oh, you got the inside done? All right, let's go look at the inside of the plumbing to make sure that Raul did a good job. Oh, see this? This is professional here, you guys. Raul? Hmm. Some of the best plumbing I've ever seen. I take back what I said before. So this is what we made here to seal the garage door opening. Cut these at a 45 because this concrete's so uneven. We really poured concrete here. This was a big old crack where the rats can get in. And then this as well. No more bricks. Oh, this came out really nice. Beautiful work. All right, so we're getting all the patching done here. Yeah, we can flip it. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so we're up on the roof. I'm gonna give you a little secret here. I don't like to share all of my secrets, but uh, I feel like I need to, especially for this home because the, the rats are obviously aggressive. See, they're coming up and chewing and chewing two different locations. So what we're gonna do, even though we're gonna have a backflow valve installed, which is gonna eliminate those rats from coming in, there still might be one or two in the sewer system. So to eliminate them from getting up inside the walls, costing more, damage of opening up the wall and doing the replacement. We got some peanut oil here. And what we're gonna do is what we do is we take it and we just spread it, the inner walls like this, just like that. Look at how slippery, slippery this is. And that's going all the way down in coating. That's one way to prevent them because there's no way they're climbing up. It's just too slippery. I feel like an idiot. I sent Raul all the way under there because I told him that the sewer line exits the front of the property here, but in fact, what we realized that the sewer line goes that way. Well, we all make mistakes. He actually crawled from there, came out of here because the sewer line goes this way, and then it exits the property right here. So we're gonna dig up and put the check valve back below device right here. You wanna protect the concrete is what you're saying? Yeah. Here, just put the dirt inside of this. <laughs> what is he, a wise guy? What are you doing, Dave? I'm gonna give these rats, because they're so aggressive, a run for their money. It's getting late in the day, so what I'm gonna do is set up a rat trap in this clean out to see if I can catch one. I did this about a month ago on another job. It was so awesome. Came back the next day where I set my rat trap up in the sewer line and got them. So I'm hoping I can catch one right here. So here we go. That's where they're coming and going, right there. We're gonna get our little rat hoodie right here, and it's all black, perfect to match the pipe, so less neophobic. What we're gonna do is screw it right here. And then let's get some peanut butter up in here. I'm gonna set this bad baby. We are set. This is what makes my job exciting. I'm gonna go to bed thinking about, God, am I gonna catch one? Am I gonna catch one? Leaving your comments, do you think we're gonna catch one? I can only hope. All right, we're back. Let's go ahead and expose that clean out. I think that was actually pretty brilliant of Dave to set the rat hood and trap in that open line. So let's see if he's successful. Good morning, Raul. Good morning. What do you think? You think we've got something 50-50 chance? Yeah, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. Uh, Oh, look at that, guys. The rat hood. Let's go ahead and unscrew it. Yeah, he went in deep. See, that's that's what's amazing about the rat hood. Look at how far they go inside. Now let's go ahead and put in the sewer blocker. That's awesome. We got one out of the rat back 
and then we got one with the uh, rat hood so super super static so now Raul's gonna go ahead and trench that get that thing in there so that he can stop these rats from coming into Karen's house once and for all how we looking Raul all good Jimmy nice does that mean I get my raise <laughs> you're funny let's see what she has to say hi Karen hi so it's been quiet? Oh my God, there's been no noise. I'm so excited, thank you. Woo! I love it, I love it. We're just gonna do the drywall and then we'll be done and clean up. This jar deserves the rat dance. This job for us was super fun. Get to go creative on the rat vac, the sewer snap trap, and actually catching these rats. It's been amazing. Leave your comments, appreciate all your support. Hit that subscribe button, and we're gonna see you on the next one.